Now I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys to make a tutorial on how I made the green screen for shot. Uh, while I can't make a full blown uh, tutorial on that since that would be way too long, I can definitely show you guys a step by step process of how I made it. Like all great visual effects shots, we begin with the camera tracking. Instead of tracking in Blender like I normally do on the channel, I instead opted for tracking inside of Nuke. Nuke's camera tracker node is actually really good and I find that it gives really good results in very small amount of time. The nice thing about Nuke's camera tracker is that you can actually select a lot of trackers to be the floor plane rather than just three like in Blender. I find that this definitely gives me a better result. After I have a good track, I made a 3D scene inside of Nuke to define where the floor actually sits. And then once I was happy with that result, I can actually export that out, uh, the geometry and the camera into an FPX file so I can import it into Unreal. And yes, I did use Unreal for this shot since I wanted to try to find a workflow that would work with my visual effects. Because I was new to Unreal and just wanted to learn the basics, I downloaded one of Unreal's demo scenes to use as the background. Electric Dreams is a beautiful scene and gave me the look I was going for. After loading up the level, I wanted to find where I wanted the camera to be and uh, I imported the camera in from Nuke. I don't really know the best workflow in positioning a camera that already has keyframe data, but I found that Unreal allows you to actually add a transform on top of your camera so it would actually keep the camera movement but allow me to reposition the camera wherever I wanted. Through trial and error, I was able to position the camera on the spot where I wanted my actor to be and I made sure that the ground plane lined up to where I wanted him to stand. Now since the ground wasn't level, I decided to use Unreal's asset library called Quixel Bridge to import in a simple ground object so that my actor could actually stand on a level ground and it wouldn't throw off the camera track. That combined with me testing out many different lighting setups left me a shot that looked like this. Now into compositing, I brought the Unreal render back into Nuke to do one final composite. The first step was to actually key out the green screen. I used a variety of techniques including boosting the gain and the saturation. It also helped that my actor was standing still so I really didn't have to deal with any high mo motion blur which would have made the keying process way more difficult. I did have to do a separate roto pass to erase all of my tracker markers uh, but I was left with a really nice alpha channel. Next was combining the green screen footage with the Unreal Render. I did a ton of color matching, adding shadows, and combining a lot of nodes to blend in the scene. Towards the end, I noticed something was missing, so I actually decided to add a little bit of haze to the scene. I took the camera track data into Blender, and then using a transparent noise texture, I was able to make a particle system to act as fog on the ground. I rendered out two layers, uh, one in front of my actor and then one behind the actor so I could composite them separately and make the fog look much more realistic. Back in Nuke, once I was happy with the compositing result, I actually exported out an image sequence and took that into DaVinci Resolve for one final color grain. Resolve is amazing for coloring and I was actually able to pick specific parts of the image using Resolve's qualifier tool. I was able to take my shot from looking like this to a result that felt way more cinematic and from there I rendered out this final shot. This shot took me about 25 or 30 hours to complete and is the culmination of about 6 years of visual effects experience. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about this breakdown and you can apply it to your own artwork in the future. Thanks for watching, uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and also if you want to help out support the channel I have a Patreon, link is down in the description below. But thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.